What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Heavy Wrench. Thanks for tuning in today. Today we are working on a 2320 John Deere tractor. Um, it's got a front oil leak on it on the hub seal here. I just pulled the tire off so I'm trying to stay away from doing the um, typical heavy wrench fashion where I get too, uh, too excited and just start ripping and tearing before I let you see what's going on. So we're going to take a look here real quick down on this seal and it's actually the spindle seal it's not the hub seal itself but I'll show you where it's leaking and we'll let you know how to actually rebuild one of these and there's some special tools we'll need we'll get into that how to make them or whatever it is but uh, this is not something that uh, too difficult but it's definitely takes a little time so let's get into it so as you can see right here there's an oil stain and that's where the oil stain would be on your tire but there's two seals on this unit. There's one seal that sits in here, and you probably can't see it because of the shadow, maybe you can, but this one's dry. This is the wet one up here. So it's in this housing. So I'm gonna show you how I take it apart. I'm gonna take this cap off here, and then we're gonna pull this, this whole uh, four bolt flange right here on uh, that side. We might pop off the other tire just so we can uh, have a little bit more room down there and flex this axle uh, nicer. So I'm gonna pop that other tire off. Then we're gonna pull this um, steering, I'm gonna call it like a, like a drag link, but it's not connected anywhere besides on these four bolts. So to get that off, I believe this just pops off here. So if I remember right, uh, tough to remember. It's been a little bit since I've done one. We're gonna pop this off and uh, then pull this spindle off and then we'll be able to get into the side of the nitty gritty of how to do it. So stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you think. I know I do, uh, you like my tool hauls better, but here's a little repair video. And I like doing repair videos better because uh, it helps educate people. And I like uh, spreading the word and letting people see what we do. Recording. So it might be a 17, I'm not sure yet. We'll see if the wobble gets down in there nicely. Looks like it's going to work just fine. Might have to switch to a 3 8 once we bust it free. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to go 3 8 because uh, that just did not work at all. So, but the half inch of Bust it free, and then we'll uh, bring your pocket pry bar out. Where's my Mac pocket pry bar? Okay, get this little bit of dirt out around these so you can get on the bolt better. I'm gonna try going 14 foot. That's a yellow battery. We're gonna get a fresh battery on this thing. Three. Right off the charger. Let's see. There it goes. It don't like it. We'll grab a wrench for that one. Zip the rest of these off here. But see, the three eighths just gets in there a little nicer. Um, for what we're doing, we'll grab a wrench, get on that one real quick. These Mac Precision Torque wrenches here, they're they're pretty nice. Um, they get into places nice, but I really like the holder. If I could say one nice thing about them is that darn holder. You grab the whole set of wrenches, just a little fold over thing. That is probably my favorite uh, thing about it, to be honest with you. Um, get a hammer and then we need a 14 probably for those back ones or is that a 15 it's a 14 so we'll get the 14 we'll pull this off pull that off we'll be good to go I do like these easy red trays they're pretty nice for jobs like this where you can just set them down the magnets not super strong I'm not gonna say it's super strong by any means but 
it's uh, definitely strong enough. Now that does, that might, there it goes. Okay, now let's see if we can do this without pulling all that off. Okay, so there is a seal up here that will have to be changed, but I think I can get this off like it is. Actually, you know what? I don't have to pull that stub shaft. Do I? Do I? No, I don't have to. Oh boy, dripping some oil. There's that. There's that seal. Set that there. I don't know if I have to pull this. Let's see here. Definitely have to do this seal up here. We definitely have to see what the seal that is. Okay, just there, good there. Yeah, we just got dirt down in there. I think we'll just replace this seal, that seal, and uh, we won't have to mess with too much. This is going to be an easy one, I think. I'll just have to order that seal. And I don't see anything really bad on there besides a little bit of wear. We'll check out that seal inside. So let's head and we'll grab a rag. We'll head in the shop. We'll drain this hub, and we'll see what uh, see what it looks like there. So I think this. All right. I know the shop. The bench looks messy here. The engine I'm rebuilding is right back here behind us. I'm still working on that slowly but surely. So. I want to show you guys what we got cooking here. So this is the actual seal that was leaking right here. I drained it out through the top and here's the here's the kicker behind it. Look at all this mud and rust. That's what's doing it is it's getting that fine powder in there. So what I'm going to do is wipe off the bottom here. I'm going to have to clean the whole thing anyway. It's not uh not like I can't um, I probably could just pop the seal in there, but let me grab my little pry bar and, and see. I'm going to actually call on this right now and see if I can find one um, today. Uh, being this, yeah, so I'm going to see if I can call and find one right now. Um, go from there all right just so you guys see what kind of wacky stuff I'm gonna do here I'll show you so these ratchet straps if you don't have enough of these ratchet straps around you need them for random stuff like this is gonna be kind of uh, kind of one of those things you don't have to put it in a vise if you have one of these ratchet straps so I'm going to do this, see if I can get this to work. I'm not really sure if I can, but hopefully it does. I just got to hold it down. I don't know if I go here. That's the hardest thing, figuring out where you got to hold it to make it work. You know what I'm saying? So this is, uh, switch, switch these around here. So this is on this side, and this goes over here, and we'll see. This may or may not work. It may be an epic fail. I have epic fails sometimes. Everybody does. And if somebody says they don't have failures, they're just lying. Or they're either lying or not trying. So that one's not going to work there. And if I was to take it... Take another one. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Would uh, hold it, even though it's above the seal. Will I be able to pull that seal out with this slide hand? It's going to get in there. I don't know if it is or not. Now we got a phone call coming. I'll answer this.
All right, phone calls are over. I, I, uh, I don't know if the slide hammer is going to work. I'd like it to work. It really would. It fits in there. But I don't know if I can get it. Here, turn it the other way so I can keep it. Nope, not going to work. Try this up. We're gonna try a lady slipper. And there's a lady slipper. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll just do it this way. Maybe we'll just. I don't know. I like ratchet straps. They help out a lot. They definitely give you that extra hand. Um, especially when you can tie them down to the bench. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe not. I'm going to move it over here so you can see better. Um, let's see. There's that. Down there. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try to pry it down. But yeah. Pop. Oh, yeah. That's working. Pop that out. There's the seal. I think what happened was it's just dirt got down in there. Um, you can see a couple grooves on the other one, but I think it's just mud and dirt that got in there. I think that's the only reason it failed. So we're going to finish cleaning this up. Oh, I did take it to the parts washer and cleaned everything on it, so it is clean. It's good to go. Um, I drained it out of the drain plug down here. Uh, the, other, the customer did ask me if I could look for a breather, and I don't think this axle has a breather. To be honest with you, um, I don't know. I'll have to look and see. But it did have a little bit of pressure built up in it when I pulled it apart. So it may be causing the leak to be more. But we're going to head out there. I'm going to clean up that, uh, that other part. And uh, with some scotch Bright, get that all clean with a couple rags, wash it down. We should be good to go, ready to go back together. Oh, I gotta get that top, uh, that top seal out of there too, because I got that one coming too as well. So we'll have to clean that up. Let's head back out there. And uh, I didn't know how long it was gonna be to get parts, and luckily we had them today. So that's one of those things, you know. I took it apart outside because I didn't know how long, and when you don't know how long, I didn't want, I didn't want this thing tying up any room and uh, you know making it any worse or whatever it is I'm gonna clean up that shaft and see what it takes and then we'll uh, we'll go from there I'll show you the clean shaft or maybe I'll give you a little before of what the shaft looks like and then uh, we'll laugh for shot when we're done so after we're done cleaning it up and then that top seal's got to come out too so I'm gonna do that uh, but when we get the new one I'll confirm that one that one's probably reusable, but if I have a seal apart, I like to put a new one back in. That's just how I like to do it, and I it's not worth the risk. You know what I'm saying? If you're out in the field, you have to get somebody by, that's one thing. But this is a controlled environment where I can order the parts and get them whatever I need to do it and go from there. So I'll get to cleaning that up. I'll show you it real quick here. Take this off. Little grooves, there's some rust there. We're going to get that kind of cleaned up just shined up nicely but there's some pitting from where it was sitting so that may be part of our issue but if i clean that up nice and smooth we'll be okay this just got to flop up here out of the way and i'll be able to really show you but yeah i think it's just nature of the beast of getting dirt and stuff down in there that's really what caused it was the dirt i think got between those seals and started to let it leak and there's a couple grooves so I might try to offset that seal just a little bit from where it was and uh, go from there or because I don't think that's a speedy sleeve by any means no that's just a just a shaft so we'll get that cleaned up all right as you can see we did the best we could with some emery cloth and our scotch bright so I take a little piece like this I wrap it around all the way around and I wish I could show you how I do it but anyway I saw it back and forth and then it keeps it in the round shape so 
we use it on cylinders, stuff like that. It's worked pretty good for polishing chrome and uh, polishing shafts up. So that way you're always around the whole thing. But that's probably the best we're going to get it. Because um, there's a few little lips in there. So we'll, we'll go with that and maybe we'll be able to move the seal in a little bit more. Double check that later. But we should be good to go. All right, new seals are installed. We've got seal installed, new seal in here. We're all cleaned up, ready to go back together. One shim plate, new seal up here. Everything's all cleaned up, ready to go. Now we just gotta get her to set up in there. Call it There's a little gear, a side gear like that has to be straightened up. Come on, baby. Flipped around, so you gotta be careful of that. Put my fat fingers in there. Yep, the old fat fingers aren't working today. I could have probably pulled them two tie rods off and made life way easier but I figured I'd save myself a few minutes here maybe but it's not looking that way right now is it so we're gonna pick this up as high as we can get that out of the way I ended up having to pull the knuckle off down here anyway um, to do it, but it's okay. There it goes. There we go. Okay, there's that. You see, we're kind of Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do now? Same ratchet strap. And just hold a little bit of pressure up on that until we get this lined up. Obviously, that's not gonna work because. Oh, the struggle is real. Some days, the struggle is real. So we're going to take it out with a steering column here. seal's holding it right now, but as soon as we start to bang on her a little bit, things rolling. There we go. A couple of dowel pins up there. I'm 
Why not? More of the top has to go down. There it goes. A couple little taps, and we'll be in business there. The only reason I want to hold up on that. Thing so the seal doesn't slide out or you know, get crooked or anything. So it's out just a hair, but there it goes. Okay. This one locked in first. Check. Got two of them in. Check. I'm gonna take this off. Get that right out of our way. Our 17. I actually don't mind that gear lash. Pretty good. Okay. Tighten up. Done deal. And we'll be filling it with uh, filling it with fluid and seeing what happens here. But I'm missing one bolt. Where oh where did I drop that bolt? Oh my gosh, love it, you gotta love it. Well, I'll find it here eventually. I wonder if it was one of the first ones I took off and it sat.
something. Gold seal. Tools. 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 Do this tight before I Torque wrench there. Okay, some are lug nuts. Let's see what happened to that last bolt. Alright, found it. There she is. up real quick. That's all folks, fill it with oil and we'll be uh, good to go. So I'll probably put the tires on and then wrap this one up. I got 